Welcome back to my channel. I'm in Kenya and I, uh, I'm on my way to Atamu. I'm back in Kenya, guys. I, I, my very last trip was from Nairobi to Cape Town. That was an epic trip, a trip of a lifetime. I call it a trip for the books. It's just one for the books. So today I'm going towards Watamu. I've come back to the coast. And Watamu is one of our touristic uh, towns. It is a very chilled town, I would say. And this is my crew. So I'm leave and then Hi. Adia there, Millie. If you watched uh, many of my videos, Millie is usually is one of my crew members. She's fun team. <laughs> yeah, she's she's been fighting for some time. She appears in some videos, others she doesn't. It just depends with her availability. And then Patrick. Yes, yes, he's usually most most of the time he's the videographer or the driver. We, we interchange at times, yeah, we interchange. You'll just know. So, guys, we are heading towards Watamu, and guess what? The last time I was in Nairobi, maybe, maybe almost nine months ago, I came across, I was visiting a family, a family member in Nairobi. I came across this lady, and then she was like, I recognize you from somewhere. And then I was like, where from? And then she told me, you know, you made me buy some property somewhere in Watamu. And then she reminded me of a video I made about a place, uh, a villa that I had stayed in. It's called Oka Villas. So she told me she bought that property and she put into, she did one or two corrections here and development of the place further because it was a new property. So I had I had recommended a few things. That was just an honest review, not paid nothing. It was just an honest review of the place. So she made some corrections here and there after watching my video. And she told me I must return. When I come to Atamu, I must return to her place to see how different it looks because she had made some changes here and there. And she believes it's in a very good condition, even though she still wants to do some more things, but I can't wait to see the place. So I contacted her when I was coming to Watamu and she offered to host us, the four of us. Yes. Eh? And and she, she's one of my fans and I was like, I will take that offer. <laughs> I will take that offer anytime because it's some very beautiful space. So guys. I can't wait to show you that place. Meanwhile, have you seen the roads? The road from Mombasa to Watamu is under construction. And there are some patches here and there where the road is still very okay. But there are some patches also where the construction is still underway. And I think they're trying to make the road wider. And I'm all about development. So when you come to this road, you might take longer than usual. Usually from Mombasa to Watamu, we take maybe two hours maximum. Two, what, two hours, yeah, two hours most of the time, but this time it has taken us longer. It has taken us almost three hours just because of the diversions here and there. But we are not complaining as long as they're developing the roads. Why not? So, guys, let's enjoy what Tamu 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 means sweet. sweet. So, what Tamu is a sweet place. <laughs> Ooh, tam, it's called Watamu Tamu Watamu Tamu. So Let's enjoy what I'm
We're just a few minutes to Watamu and by the Watamu is in the Kenyan coast somewhere between Malindi and Mombasa yeah somewhere between actually Kilifi, Kilifi and, Malindi. and Malindi or even Malindi even Malindi with Mombasa whichever way depending on which which town you recognize you'll see you've already seen the palm trees and all that it's in the Kenyan coast one thing I learned to appreciate when I was on my trip to South Africa is the warm beaches. You know, in South Africa we came across so many beaches, but most of the time they were, it was very windy and the water was very cold, so it would be it would be quite difficult to swim in such water. But now the advantage that the eastern countries have, especially the countries that have Indian Ocean, but in the eastern side of Africa. The advantage, uh, the advantage they have is the warm seawater, so they can easily swim in the beaches. And also, Kenya is known for some of the best beaches in the world, so we can't waste to go and just enjoy the beach. After the long trip, we have to treat ourselves. Yes, after the long trip, after the long trip, we are pampering ourselves. I know you guys would say that going for the long trip is already a treat but now just to relax to relax further we needed these trips in the idea yeah long trips are exhausting yeah are fun mm -hmm. but you can really you just need a few a few days to just cool off yes. huh? to cool off and this is it yeah and this is it by the way, guys thank you so much for your support in the previous series oh my god that was overwhelming one of my best series ever other than having the adventure the amount of support i got from you guys was just out of this out of this world i was literally blown away so thank you and continue staying tuned because as usual i bring awesome content if you're new to the channel you might want to go and check out my other series that have been uh, the other series of, of travels that i've been to and it's usually most of the time road trips so if you love road trips you're in the right place Guys, we are finally at Oka Villas. I'm, I'm impressed. I just need you guys to see, to see this. So there are two villas, one that we used last time, and another one that was yet to be completed. But right now it's completed. We are staying in that one. Last time we stayed here, so this time we're staying this other side. The pavements are well manicured and further there there's a small swimming pool that you will, will be using that swimming pool i just made my hair but i have to dip into the swimming pool i mean how many times do i get such a beautiful pool next to me this is our space Ta -da! just how beautiful can any place get look at this 
it has a lot of I would say Swahili mixed with some Bohemian feel in it. Huh? There, there's some there's a little bit of everything, but I just love the whole combination. The deco is on point. Now, uh, the last time I was here, the, the, uh, actually I've checked both both uh, both villas and the deco is very similar. Just slight differences, but the deco is very similar. Now let me let me tell you, let me show you around, and then later I'll tell you what has changed. So once you get in, the first thing you see is the living room. Let me just this one. This is the kitchen. It is fully equipped. I tell you fully. Fully, by fully I mean there is all kitchen appliances you can ever imagine, even including the washer. I know the washer belongs to the laundry, but many people prefer having it in the kitchen. So if you come here, you need to wash, you can just do some washing here. And I think it's also convenient for the host to be able to wash all the laundry after the after clients have left. And then coffee machine, microwave, cooker, water dispenser, literally everything. They have a lot of utensils. You can see these are just cooking spoons, cutlery. There are plenty of uh, plates here. We should be using, we'll be staying here for two nights, so we have enough time to utilize this kitchen. In fact, we bought some supplies here and there, and uh, we intend to use these supplies. Okay, there is this fridge here. I'm just obsessed with this. These tools are just. The last time we were in this property, they did not have such a stool. I just love the details. Look at this. The fact that you can just remove this, you can change it to another fabric, or you can wash it if you need to. It's just very convenient. I love these tools. Remember, this house can only accommodate four people. So, four people in the dining area makes a lot of sense. The previous time we were here, there were just these two. There were just these two seats. I had requested, okay, in my review in the previous video. By the way, guys, you need to go. I'll, you need to go and watch that video about the review of this place. I'll put the link somewhere here so that you can see the difference for a sofa with a backrest. Because you see this one, you can easily sit on it. But if you want to relax, unless you're sleeping like this, it can be used as a sofa bed. But if you want to sit like comfortably, if you move backwards like this your be your back will be a bit uncomfortable so i'd requested for something with the backrest and here it is even the other villa has it so just the normal backrest thing the tv i love the fact that they have a huge tv this time there was a very small tv but i love the fact that there is a huge tv this time i love watching tv i know some people go for holidays to just have a moment to meditate no, no outside technology and all that, but I'm not that kind of a person. I love TV. This is therapy to me. I'm, I'm of that generation. So around the TV, there are plenty of decorations that I wish I could carry home. <laughs> I like the white. There is the earthy feeling in the wood. There is the cream, beige. All those are earthy colors that I like. Very neutral colors. So for me, this house is just a dream because it's all white. And there is something about the white. The white really pops. Now, from from the living area, later in the evening, I think. Let me open this. Later in the evening, I think we'll stay here. Here, a space has been provided for four people. You see? Ah, <sighs> lights. Why can I turn them on? But you'll see them later in the evening. Last time there were no lights here, so we have two nights here. So we are going to utilize this space. Now, uh, this is the corridor towards the, this is the corridor that will take you to the, to the bedrooms here. There is a very beautiful mirror. At least this one will use all of us. Before you leave the room, you have to check if you're looking good. I know I'm looking good. <laughs> okay, there's some yellow light, so you just get used to it. So this is a double bed. And yeah, let me see. Okay. Oh my god. It's a very comfortable bed. And there's some space here for your clothes if you need to hang it. And now the most important part, the bathtub. Usually I tell, I usually say most of the time I uh, there's a bathtub, but I can't use I'm going to use this one because it is neat, it is clean. 
and it gives me the confidence to soak in. So I'm going to soak in. Other than the bath, thank God they also have a bathroom area where you can just take a shower. The water here is quite warm. I'm, I'm not worried about that because I've been told that the heaters are working and I love the fact that there is this depot here. So you can just come here and meditate. You can just come here and meditate or look at the art. And then out here there's some, some natural plants. So it's just the perfect place. Now guys, let's go to the second room. So this is the second room. There are two here. I, 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 I'm, I'm lost for us because there are two double beds. I was expecting to get only like two single beds, but there are two double beds. Meaning that she can accommodate up to six people. But I'm telling you, this is so comfortable. Let's see. All the mattresses, just look at this. Look at this. All the mattresses are so comfortable. The linen, the towels, they are very white. And I love, by the way, if you own a Airbnb or a hotel or anything, just ensure the towels are white, sheets are white. It gives your clients a lot of confidence. Like right now, I'm not worried about sleeping in the bed or using the towels because I feel like it's clean. So, but that one also depends with individuals. Uh, there's some laundry area where you can put your clothes there. And then, now this is the ultimate room. From the room, you can also access this space here. Wow. So, we're going to have so much fun. Our time is quite warm, so there is an AC in this bedroom and the other bedroom. And also the, uh, there's, uh, I've seen some fun in the sitting room. And guys, this is just a room tour and we are glad. I would just say, this is... Uh, the host has just been generous. She has been generous to us. She has put some vegetable, some fruits there for us. She has given us the accommodation. And you've seen how beautiful it is. So if you come to a town, you might want to consider Oka Villas as one of your places to stay. There is, she has given us, a, actually, when, uh, when I was communicating with her, she's given me a lot of information. Places to go while in your in Watamu. If you need anything, there is a tuk-tuk guy, there is a motorbike guy, there is a chef, you can contact the chef. There is, like, she's given me contact to access anything that I might want in this area. So, she's made it very convenient, and thank you, Rose. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, there is this common common bathroom and toilet. So in case uh, people who stay in the in this bedroom which has two beds, use this. So there is only one master in suite. The other one, you share this space. Now, like I said last time, I love the floor because it's made of coral. You see this? This coral ensures that the place is very cool. Now, even if I walk just like the, the way I'm like this, even if I'm on my bare feet, I still feel the warmth, the, the cool. The coral on the floor ensures that this, this place is quite cool. Yeah, that's all I can say. I love it so much. Just look at this. Just another look at this place. It's very similar to the other one. We intend to, to enjoy our stay in Watamu thanks to Okavillas. <music> What do you think of the place, Millie? It's awesome. What did you expect? Gotten more than what I expected. It's very nice, polished, a place to cool off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the white. Just look at how the white makes the place so radiant. I know, and expensive. And, and oh, it feels very expensive by the guys. <coughs> This place feels very expensive because of the color white and the beautiful decor. The details are just on point. Mm -hmm. Now, to get to this place, you, you come all the way to Atamu, and then you branch to your 
right. to your right and then it's called the turtle road turtle bay road turtle bay road just after pilipan there is a road by the way if you just put the you just write oka villas on the google map it will direct you up to this place we've just done that yes yeah we just done that it will direct you up to this place uh, i think uh it's this this particular villa accommodates up to six people we just checked online and if you want to come all the way to this place just know it is in watamu it is very close to pilipan uh, temple yeah kobe resort. kobe resort temple point and leash house they are just somewhere very close to this place if you'll be booking of course you'll have contacted the host and they'll, and she will give you the exact location she is very she responds very fast in fact even right now you can go to instagram find oka villas on instagram and just contact the write a direct message you'll see she responds like promptly she responds very fast she will give you all the details you know so it's approximately around 30 30,000 yes per villa okay. right yes yeah it's approximately 30,000 kenyan shillings per villa but i think the prices changes with the season the prices whenever you'll be booking may be quite different there is also a villas in in airbnb just check it it's great to be back i can't wait to dip in that gorgeous swimming pool idea but you just made your hair i know i made my hair but this swimming pool must <laughs> she's very scared of a lot of water in the swimming pool but this one is a small swimming pool so she's quite comfortable I'm with comfortable it here. <laughs> I have been visiting Watamu for a couple of years now and I have watched it grow steadily. If you are interested in the hospitality and tourism industry, you might want to invest in Watamu. It has great potential. Dinner is served in our local Kibandaski. Kibandaski is what? Food vendor. Food vendor. <laughs> Food stall. So this is one and a half chicken. It's a broiler chicken with some ugali. Yeah, we are just waiting for some salad. Is it? What's the name? Salsa. salsa. Others call it salsa. In Kenya, we call it kachumbari. Mm -hmm. it looks yummy. Yeah, it's just somewhere by the road, by the way. And apparently, uh, we've been every time we come to Watamu, we usually come to this particular place. So it was just a place for the locals to get some some cheap and delicious food from the locals. But guess what? Nowadays, everyone comes here. There are so many tourists here. I'm, I'm worried that the price of the food will go high. <laughs> I'm scared. I have just ordered the food without asking the price. 
As good as usual. Mm -hmm. So guys, we are from having our lunch, our dinner. In fact, we had said that we'll get the chicken and then get it to. There's a place we usually get like roasted chicken, and our favorite is <laughs> the guy who usually serves us. is called Becca. He knows that. But they shout out to Becca. Now every time we come to a town, we usually go to the same spot for chicken. I don't know how they make their chicken. I've even asked for, for the secret ingredient, but somehow I'm not ready to receive it. So, so that every time I come to a time, I have to go back there. Initially, there were very few people there. They were just mostly local tourists. Now, now there are so many tourists, international tourists. Even there are some, there's a couple of whom we've met who sold everything they had. They come from Germany. They sold everything they have, and then they started doing a road trip. But usually they come, they fly to Kenya. They, right now they are, they are, um, they sold everything they had and they bought a van it is like an overland van yes it has everything it has the toilet the kitchen bed and everything but now they have been traveling around europe and right now they just decided to come for the holiday first before they continue with their, with their journey their van is in italy so we were telling them about our expeditions around africa and they could not even believe it. Now he was our he was a uh, Becca was our, our translator. He speaks almost four languages, and it was just magical being there with other travelers. He those people those the, the couple they have also discovered that same place we usually get go for chicken, and I'm like very soon that place will be very very big. It tastes best when you eat it at the vendor's place, so we just decided to eat it there. There's so many things to do in Watamu, by the way. You'll see tomorrow, there are so many places to visit. We've visited Watamu a couple of times, but we've never really finished it because most of the time we just come to relax. We'll show you a few places that we'll be visiting tomorrow. And you guys should join us. I know you'll join us. So stay tuned and let's meet tomorrow in the morning. Anyone who wants to visit Watamu, it's, it's a very good uh, place to visit. It's a must to visit. Like the video, subscribe, share. I can't wait to explore what I'm tomorrow. Good morning from Okavillas. This is what people are doing early in the morning. It's a few meters. And then there are all those beach beds there. You can relax. There is a bathroom here on the side. You can clean up in this bathroom here. Yes, here. After you are done swimming. Anxiety. Now this is where I'm coming to to enjoy the water. The other side is too deep for me. I've just checked the place here. It's not a bathroom. It's just a changing area. And there is the kitchen. Behind the shed is the kitchen.
with the watamu heat it's just awesome to just relax in the pool if you're not swimming you just dip in and have a good time so it's nice to be back we're having a good time swimming or not swimming but still in the water <laughs> so as others enjoy the deep side i'm just here enjoying this side <laughs> I, you guys will not understand, but this is just the best part. If I sit on the floor of the pool, <laughs> I'm always in the middle of the pool. <laughs> yeah, from here, we have um, the places that our host had suggested that we could, uh, we could go. There's a whole list of it, so we'll select which ones are, which ones are more aligned to our kind of fun, and then we'll go. Guess what? I've not finished the entire the entire literature she, she sent me so i don't know much all i know is that there is crab shark there is corn lake somewhere in there there is um gatherings there is leak house um yeah i've been to all those places i'm hoping that in the list there is somewhere i've never been to before so that i can try out there's also waka waka island it's a, it would like to experience a, a, a culture, a coastal cultural experience. Maybe you should go to Waka Waka. Uh, I'm told that the people who stay there are mostly Giriyama. Mm, what else? I guess there are many things to do. But, but first of all, I have to go to the beach. I love the Watamu beach because of the... Are they, are they even called rocks? I'm not sure that I should call them rocks or islands, but there are so many of them. All, I think more than seven. They make Watamu, the beaches in Watamu, very unique. Very, very unique. I, I, imagine if you're there, you feel like you're not even in the Kenyan coast. I'm not saying that the Kenyan coast is not beautiful, but it looks like those places you see on movies. Oh, for now, let me just enjoy the heat and the cool waters. <laughs> Oh, all is catching me off guard. <laughs> Just pulling off here. Yeah? Huh? It's so uh, relaxing. Yeah, oh, the I don't feel like leaving this villa, by the way. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't feel like leaving. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it's just everything and more. Adia, say hi. Look at that girl. She's judging me and she's seated on her own. On her, on her no, I'm just seat. from swimming, remember? No, you should. No, no swimming, you saw. I've swum in that tiny pool. Uh, Come and swim. Uh, hold you. Uh, and then. Uh -huh. Let's see if you'll float. Mm -hmm. Let's see. If I'll float. Uh, wait for it. Do <laughs> <laughs> See, your body is inclined. You're supposed to be like flat, flat. To hold somewhere in, in here. Mm -hmm. You're hoping that there, there was a rail. Is there? Is there? Yeah, there's no. that one there. Where? Yeah, go to the other side. I you see the way Patrick is enjoying. I have a lot of phobias. Swimming is one of them. And driving. <laughs> driving, I'm starting to break out of that shell. Mm -hmm. Uh, swimming, I almost did learn how to swim in this particular pool. Last time? Last time. Millie and Yakopale, she's just slaying. Hi, Millie. How is the slaying going? <laughs> I'm not slaying. Hey, me, I'm just on a holiday. I'm, I'm unavailable. I'm enjoying. I wish, I wish you were taking it from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> a reaction. <laughs> I uh, well, one, two, three. I feel, I feel, I feel safe. You feel safe because you can touch something? Yeah. Okay, let's see. How safe is safe? Yay! Yeah, you're floating. Hemingways, it's 
been some time it's been almost three years since we were in Hemingway's Watamu and we can't wait to go there we wanted to go for a, a sunset at Leech House, Leech House or Crab Shack but I have been outvoted usually I prefer democracy <laughs> we usually vote for anywhere I go and I have been outvoted so we'll just have to go to Hemingway's because it's the only place that that my my travel buddies have never been to and I was there like three years ago so it makes a lot of sense so no sunset today but if you'd come to Watamu and you want by the way Watamu has some of the best sunsets ever you can go to Leech House there's very nice sunset you can go to Crab Shack there's very beautiful sunset and or you can also go to Prawn Lake you can also do kayaking in Prawn Lake and I think in Prawn Lake and Crab Shack I'm not sure about Leech House but there is kayaking so you can kayak as you you enjoy the sunset but that will not happen for me today I love sunsets but I have been outvoted so Hemingways it is let's go and see how different it looks right now so here is where the there's usually prawn lake you see the parking is just on by the road so just a few meters you can if you can see look keenly you'll just see the the creek the middle creek it's a few meters from the road So guys, I've uh, made a video about this place before. I will put uh, the link below here so that you guys can be able to go and see. Um, it's a very beautiful space. There are apartments where you can cook. There are the hotel option where you, you get to eat here. You get to eat from their restaurants and bars. Their bars are beautiful and the restaurant is beautiful. The signature, the thing that stands out about Hemingway, yes, other than those those islands you see out there the two of them so the only the other thing that stands out about this place other than those rocks and the magnificent space are the stuffed fish you guys the stuffed fish look beautiful i i'll just put some footages here so that you can see what i mean by beautiful stuffed fish we are enjoying the ambience and we are having some some pizza and some what do you call them uh, mocktails, mocktails and pizza for us. Yeah, other than that, I'll just give you a, a brief review of how the place looks like, a brief view of what the place looks like. There are so many people, it's quite uncomfortable recording when there are so, so many people, so I'll just show you some snippets of how the place looks here and there. Yeah. 
so we've enjoyed our dinner okay we are actually full we thought that we would snack on the pizza but we are full very full yeah so we are heading home okay we are, we are picking our chicken we will use it for breakfast <laughs> in our usual spot <laughs> we're picking our chicken for from the usual spot you know you never know maybe the middle of the night <laughs> we'll something see. might happen but it's for breakfast <laughs> and then what go home yeah santi we've enjoyed our stay good morning we are still in watamu at oka villas okay i can't i just can't get over the deco in this house by the way something i noticed you see that art behind there that is typical watamu beach that is how it looks so it is just a uh, an original art by an artist there i don't know whom the artist is but that is how watamu is they are usually those coral coral rocks i don't know if i should call them islands or what but anyways it is our last day in watamu and let me just tell you guys we've not done much activities it's just been chilling like a proper holiday relaxing we went yesterday we went, went to uh, hemingways yesterday yesterday in the evening when we returned we just chilled netflix and chill we're checking out it's around 11 and uh, yeah just before we leave we'll have to take our breakfast remember yesterday we took the chicken from our usual spot uh, somewhere close to watamu beach I want to show you how our, our breakfast looks like. We are eating heavy because we intend to snack out there. This is our breakfast. This is salad. We've made some kachumbari. Some call it salsa. And then we have ugali. You see how different this, our ugali looks from the ones in the southern countries. The, the, the ones in southern countries are very white. Look at this one. This one is a bit creamy. And then we have some barbecued chicken there that we bought yesterday but we are having heavy breakfast hi Millie. hi hey, Millie, yeah. always lame kama kawa yeah we are in what time we have to slay, slay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay we are going to have our breakfast and then we leave and do a few things in watamu before we go back home so stay tuned 10 minutes later We've already checked out and we're heading towards Leach House. Come to Atamu, that is one of those places you must just visit, even just for a few minutes, and that is what we are going to do. We need to take photos in those nets. Eh? So that is exactly what we are doing. It is next to um, Temple Point. So that is the signpost there. Actually, I think it is the seafront restaurant for the Temple Point Resort. Is it Temple Point Resort or Hotel? Yeah. We cannot leave Watam without saying that this video was sponsored by Oka Villas because they gave us a, a well-deserved rest after a very long trip for more than 12,000 kilometers from Nairobi to Cape Town. If you haven't watched any of the videos in that series, you might just want to go and check it out. It's very addictive and it's just an adventure an adventure of a life of a lifetime. So for now let's enjoy the views in Leech House.
by this is a very popular place i'm talking first because of the copyright this is a very popular place you see so many boats passing by as they show this place uh, uh, you have to make a reservation in advance or if you won't be having a reservation ensure sure you come very early like we have probably this space is probably this space uh, is, has been reserved but you leave before the people who reserved come most of the time it's popular in the evening because of the beautiful sunset look at that So we've just left uh, it's called Licht house that's that's what we've been told it's called it's a german word i think it means lighthouse yeah i think it means yeah it means something like lighthouse so we've left and we are going to our next destination we have to get to the beach guys we have to show you how the watamu beach looks like like that is a that is a must see in watamu that is uh, this Licht house is one of the places now we are going to the beach so that you can see it's a public beach and it's free of charge you will be able to see how beautiful the beaches are and yeah we've just had some mocktails others cocktail if you've not reserved the place ensure you come very early so that you may you will be considered to get somewhere close to the net you know when you come to Watamu and you don't take a photo in that in those nets I don't know what you've come to be in Watamu it is one of the must do things in Watamu am I am I lying at you no, you must take. You must actually take a picture there. Yes, you must take a picture to there. Show that you've been, been to Watamu. Yes. yes. So let's go to our next destination. So uh, when you get in there, you pay one thousand per person as an entry fee, which is redeemable. By re the redeemable, I mean you can take a drink or food that is worth that amount, and uh, it will be covered in the bill. But if you if you have anything that is more than a thousand shillings, you'll have to top up the amount. So that is a good thing. Initially, there was nothing like a, like an entry fee. There was no entry fee at all. But I think the place has become so popular and some people just come to take photos. So to keep off people who, who do not really want to come and stay there, they have, they, have, uh, they have ensured that there is an entry fee. Because from a business perspective, it makes a lot of sense. Okay. You all. So this is usually the route towards the public beach. That one there. But you're going to a restaurant that also has the public beach. It's called Tamu Watamu. Yes. And while in while at the coast, you'll see plenty of mosques. They're usually all over because it is predominantly a uh, muslim muslim what islamic communities yes. yeah. 
the Kenyan coast is predominantly Islamic. There are so many new hotels and restaurants. Sindio? How do you like the tacos? So yummy. I like the fact that it has uh, mangoes, avocado, and then this is fish. I don't know what yeah. kind of fish. I, I'm, de I'm trying. This is prawn. This is calamari. What do you think of, of Tamu? Tamu restaurant is actually Tamu. It's wonderful. They have amazing ice cream. Yeah, I, by the way, you should try their ice creams and their special. prawns. You should try their ice cream and their prawns and the ambience is and nice. The calamari. And the calamari, yeah. And the ambience is nice. Their tacos too. I didn't try it, but they looked. So try everything. Eat everything. I love their tacos. I'm, I'm not always a fan of tacos, but they are taco. The ambience awesome. for me is just the ambience and the ice cream. Yeah, look at that view from where we, we are. Just let me show. Let me show. I think I've shown you, but let me just show you. Not Patrick. The view. <laughs> ah, yeah, usually there. <laughs> Like 
come when the tide is this low, you can walk all the way to those islands, the farthest island. People are just having a walk. Others even have carried their books. They are going to read them there. It's usually, this is the best time for this place because you can access all these islands. If you find there is plenty of water, you have to take a boat to those islands. But right now, I think, you see, there are so many people up there. This is the best time to swim. So that marks the end of our stay in Watamu. We are going back to Mombasa. And what we have realized is Watamu is growing. There are so many new villas, there are so many new restaurants, plenty of uh, ice cream parlors and gelato. I mean, clearly there is some investors coming. Most of these, most of these restaurants and gelato parlors and all that, are usually owned by foreigners just give Watamu another five years it will be a big place it will be a big touristic place it has always been one of the touristic towns in Kenya but the past two years it was a bit slow but right now it is picking up there are many more people in Watamu as compared to the last time I was here and I'm impressed so when you visit Kenya consider Watamu as one of your tourist destination because we, they have the best sunsets. Besa, I mean by that, I, I really mean it. I'll just, I just go back and check my videos on, uh, on Watamu, Mombasa, Malindi, and you'll see what I mean. Watamu has some of the best sunsets ever, and there are so many activities you can do. There are so many places where you can do kayaking. There, there, are, uh, there is bicycle riding, it is not it is very close to Malindi it's actually one hour to Malindi where there is the our Kenyan Canyon it's called Hell's it's called Hell's, Hell's Kitchen mm -hmm. yes Marafa Hell's Kitchen uh, we also have sand dunes if you've never been to sand dunes any kind of sand dunes you might want to go to come all the way because Malindi is very close there is also wells there is um, it's called dolphin and well well watching during some seasons around this place you can you can do that okay there are times when you, you get to see the um, uh, the turtles laying eggs gede ruins which is like uh, ancient swahili village yeah there's a lot of culture in kenya there's a lot of culture in the kenyan coast so for both kenyans and international viewers visit watamu i think it's a worthy place you have seen how beautiful the beaches are by the way the beaches usually get so beautiful i think this time there's a lot of seaweeds because the water has gone very far but once the water comes back it will clean off the seaweeds and the beach will be very very clean uh, the advantage uh, with the Ken with the kenyan coast is that we have warm water the ocean water is very warm that is why many people prefer coming to the Kenyan side for the coast experience because they can swim in the ocean. They, you can comfortably you can comfortably do snorkeling because the water is very very warm and the weather is just perfect, humid and warm, just what the doctor ordered. So until the next video, guys. Bye, bye from my crew. Until bye. the next episode. Oh, is it really an episode? Until the next adventure. Yes, bye.